I'm sorry that I can't be with you all of the Nehru Center as you commemorate the life of a man who gave so much to so many aspects of Indian cultural life, including by leading the Nehru Center with such remarkable distinction. Girish Karnad was a polymath in the best sense of the word. He was a writer, an actor, a playwright, a culture lover, a promoter of culture, if you we can call it that, a reader, a man deeply immersed in his own native Canada, and for that matter in Konkani, but also uh, uh, fluent in the most wonderful way in the international language that English is. He was somebody who was able to explore the wellsprings of Indian culture with tremendous understanding, depth and profundity, and communicate it to people for whom everything he wrote was a revelation. To do it through the medium of theatre made him all the more a giant because he is counted amongst the quartet of great playwrights uh, of modern India, the quartet that flourished in the 60s uh, with Badal Sarkar in Bengali, with uh, Mohan Rakesh in Hindi, with Vijay Tendulkar in Marathi and Girish Karnad in Kannada. Uh, but in many ways he rose above the other three because all they did was theatre. For him theatre was one of the many remarkable accomplishments of an extraordinary life. I have known him in various guises. I've had the great pleasure of many personal conversations with him. We have shared stages together. We have shared ideas together. I must, must uh, regret the passing of such a, a powerful voice for humanism, for understanding, for tolerance, for acceptance, for Indian diversity and pluralism, a staunch opponent of the kind of majoritarian triumphalism that today stalks our land. Somebody who at the same time understood and valued everything that ancient India has to offer all of us, valued our traditions, valued our literary heritage uh, deeply. He was no deracinated cosmopolitan, as some of us are accused of being. He was somebody very deeply immersed in our culture and at the same time a figure who could hold his own in today's world and on the modern stage. I miss him greatly. I believe India has lost one of her greatest sons and I, 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 I just want to pay tribute to Girish Karnad during this gathering of his friends, his admirers, and the well-wishers for everything that he wrote, represented, and stood for.